Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. And it is Friday, so yes, it is time once again for another Fairfield Friday. And we're doing another Hot Corner Box. This is number 16 of the Hot Corner Boxes. Um, we'll see how long I can keep doing these, but, um, you know, hopefully I can find some other products to open to at some point. I know there's a football version of, similar to this, but I know they also have different uh, products in terms of, um, you know, not just the Hot Corner Box or I think the football one's a field goal box or something, but there's I know there's other different products that they put out, which... Um, hopefully I can find some of those and start opening some of those up, maybe just as a change of pace or whatever, uh, but still going with these for now. Um, and, um, thank you everyone for checking out all the other ones before, and if you haven't, go up there and check, click on that, and, uh, it'll take you to the other Fri Fair for Friday Hot Corner boxes, and then while you're at it, head on down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you know next, next Friday when this, uh, drops, you can get a notification. Uh, hit the share button and share it with everyone that you know, uh, or people you don't know. I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. As long as people are watching, I don't care who they are. Um, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down if you really feel it necessary. And then if you do, either way, head on down to the comments and let me know what you think of the channel and uh, what your, maybe what your favorite card was I pulled or whatever the case may be. Uh, and then also check out all my other links. You can hit the uh, my blog, my podcast, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, also, there's a link if you like this pad I got here, you get one of your own. Also, there's some links to Amazon and Target where you can pick up some of these guys if you want for yourself. And yeah, so there we go. Um, and also, after you're done with this one, uh, on, head on over and check out some of my other videos because hopefully there's some really good videos up there and I'm cranking out videos left and right because as I'm recording this, I really don't have anything else to do. Hopefully, by the time you're watching it, everything's cool and everyone's out doing all fun stuff and watching baseball and sports and all that good stuff that we're used to. Fortunately, right now, that's not happening. But, uh, sorry, just knocked over the camera. Uh, all right, so you know the deal with these ones if you've seen this video before. If not, uh, we get four four total packs. One is a hobby, and I can tell you right now, it's 2013 Pinnacle. It's just the way it is. And also, one of the packs is going to be an 88 Donruss. The other two can vary from box to box and there's two hits which are probably going to be autographs so some prospects from the last five or six years some of wh whom didn't pan out or you don't know yet and you know whatever but um you know there's still some potential that some of these guys could pan out you know some some of these you don't know but uh some of them you you, you gotta do but anyways let's let's dive into it and i'll try to save hide the hits and save them till the end uh there's a little look inside to see what we're looking at, um, oops, and I just ruined that, but I didn't see it, you may have seen it, um, oh well, uh, we'll get to it, so we'll just, we start off with Series 1, uh, 2019, so, nah, not a good start, because you really want Series 2 in these boxes, because it has the better rookies, but maybe we can find some good stuff out of Series 1, uh, we got Stadium Club Baseball from 2019, so that's a little bit newer, uh, different, um, than the normal ones. I think I've gotten those before in these packs, but I can't remember where this went. Here's your 88 Donruss, and then here is going to be your, uh, 2013 Pinnacle. Um, so, all right, let's start off with the 88 Donruss, as we always do. Uh, I'll, again, we're looking for the Roberto Alomar rookie, Tom Glavin, Ken Caminiti, uh, David Wells, and any Hall of Famers and stuff, too. And puzzle pieces, as there always is puzzle pieces. All right, uh, we're looking at Jeff Blauser, George Bell MVP card, Mike Morgan, Jose Lind rated rookie card, Ernest Riles, Rick Honeycutt, Ty Ganey, uh, Lee Stalker, Strocker, Strocker, sorry, uh, Steve Bedrosian, Ellis Burks, Carmelo Martinez, Jim Rice, he's a Hall of Famer, Frank Williams, Mookie Wilson, and Bruce Hurst. So I've got a few Red Sox out of there anyways <laughs> for my uh, Red Sox collection. I'm probably not going to collect any of those. 80, I have so much 88 Donruss, it's ridiculous. But anyways, let's move on. I'm starting to get a lot of this too because every box uh, seems to have one of these. Uh, hobby box though. So there's definitely potential for um, autographs. Um, certainly inserts and stuff like that too. Um, and parallels. Manny, Machado's the, Manny Machado is the best rookie card to pull out of this. I've pulled it a couple times, I think, but um, maybe we'll get a parallel version? That'd be cool. I'd be 
I'd be happy with that. Um, start off with Bo Jackson. He was obviously a star back in the day. And we got Justin Upton, uh, Alan Craig, uh, Yonder Alonzo. And we got this um, Pinnacle Success, Mike Trout. So that's a solid one. i um, happy about that. Um, Ian Kinsler, uh, Will Myers rookie card. That could be decent. And Jerickson Profar rookie card. So potentially good one there too um all right we'll move on to um stadium club um this is a retail pack so i'm guessing there's not much chance of autographs and i don't think stadium club really has much in terms of way of relics or anything like that but there could be some rookies in this so we'll find out shall we all right um these a lot of these cards are this way though uh, carlos they might all be actually no because not carlos carrasco nelly cruz then we got Francisco Lindor, but that's some sort of black parallel. See, they got parallels, so not not really inserts, but parallels. Then we have Stevens, Piscotti, and Matt Carpenter to round things out from the uh, Stadium Club. And now, before we move on to Series 1 Tops 2019, uh, looking for Michael Kopech um, and a couple other rookies in there, too. Um, I know, I think Kopech's probably the biggest one. We got a couple of hits one of them which i kind of spoiled for you a little bit but we got um chasing history nick mardone from the angels i don't know what year this is 2013 i don't know if this is just out of regular tops not quite sure scoreless outings streak and it's a sticker card so that's not not as cool as a non-card and then we get eddie butler sort of guy yeah uh, Eddie Butler from Topps Chrome, um, from the Rockies, a rookie card. I don't know much about Eddie Butler, I'll be honest. Uh, 2014 Topps uh, Chrome. So that's Topps Chrome. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's move on. We got Top Series One. Um, looking for obviously parallels, um, rookies, stars. There's inserts. Potential short prints. I mean, these are retail packs, so probably not much in the ways of autographs or, or anything like that. But uh, you never know. Uh, Nick Ahmed, Jonathan Villar, Carlos Rondon, Francisco Lindor, uh, Carlos Correa, uh, Xander Bogarts, big fan of him, Edwin Encarnacion. Then we got stars of the game, Anthony Rizzo. Uh, this tops now Aaron Judge uh, card. Interesting. All right, take it. Oops, as I drop it. Ah, uh, put that there. Uh, Jameer Cantalario, uh, Yodon es Cespedes, Jonas Cespedes. I don't. I I can't read right now. Michael Franco, Sin Shu Chu, Nico Gord Goodrum, Matt Duffy, and Jorge Polanco. Um, yeah, so nothing crazy out of that. Uh, we got the Anthony Rizzo, Stars of the Game, and then this, uh, Aaron Judge Tops Now card. Probably the best two out of that. Um, but nothing crazy. I mean, you know, just a retail pack. You know, you never know what to expect. I mean, so, yeah, plus we got our hits. I mean, you know, they're nothing great, but they're autographs. You know, autographs are always fun to get. I mean, I know it's a little bit... You know, if you're guaranteed two autographs, it's kind of a little less fun than just pulling random. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but like if I'm opening a random pack and I pull an autograph, that's pretty exciting. When you know you're going to get them and you know they're probably not going to be anything great, eh, it's a little less exciting. But still, they're autographs and they're fun. And the hot corner boxes, I mean, they're probably a little bit overpriced, I'll be honest. They're about $15. Sometimes you can get them on sale and stuff um from target and amazon but you know um whatever they're fun they're fun to open you could you know these are the potentials to open something good get something good but anyways i just want to thank everyone for watching and um as i'm recording this we're still in the middle of the global situation <laughs> the pandemic so um yeah i mean i i don't know I, you're not supposed to say the word on youtube supposedly i don't know i don't know if that's still true or whatever but regardless um 
hopefully everyone is being safe out there and staying at home and quarantining. If we still need to be doing that by the time you this video posts, hopefully, I'd, I'd hope we're not still there. But I don't know, as I'm recording this, we're still stuck at home. This is why I'm recording a lot of these videos, because I don't have a lot of other stuff to do. So why not get them done and, you know, into the future. But anyways, I just want to thank everyone for watching again. Hit that subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. And come back next week for another Fairfield Friday. And check out some of the other videos while you're at it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.